YouTube. <coughs> Indiana Piper 36. How are you? I know it's been a while. I uh This cold weather has been really uh, limiting my uh, pipe smoking. I only smoke outdoors, so usually it's a quick bowl here and there in the morning, or if it's a warmer day, sometimes maybe two, but we had a couple days with warmer weather. It's been really nice, uh, 70s and 60s, so I've been taking advantage of that. And uh, getting a little bit more uh, time to spend with my pipes and whatnot. So I'm smoking a new pipe, a uh, Master Bradali. A wonderful, beautiful pipe I uh, just pur purchased at the uh, Tinderbox in Mishawaka, Indiana. Um, it's one of the. It's only one of uh, the only one in Indiana actually uh, left. And uh, the uh, gentleman who was working there, I kind of got to uh, speak to him uh, a little bit, and he uh, informed me that there's only uh, around 43 left in the entire nation, 42 or 43, somewhere around there, and uh, he's the only one in the Indiana with a tinderbox. And if you're not familiar with Indiana's uh, uh, layout and whatnot, cities and uh, things, uh, Mishawaka is over uh, north, northwest, uh, near South Bend. So if you know where South Bend is, uh, Mishawaka is the neighboring city. <clears throat> I have a good friend who uh, lives in Mishawaka. And I was getting breakfast one day with him, and I decided to stop into the tinderbox. And kind of check it out and see what they had. Uh, the gentleman behind the counter's name was Charlie, and I kind of got to meet him a little bit. I walked in, smoking my pipe, and it was kind of funny. I got to asking him about uh, pipes and things, and talking about it. And I was smoking mine, and I, you know, I asked him if he smoked a pipe, and he said yes. And you know, over 40 years, so it, he, he was a little bit more experienced than I am. It was really neat to talk with Charlie. He um, a lot of words of wisdom. He really, uh, he was glad to see a younger pipe smoker, you know, come in there. And it was kind of funny at first. I could tell he's, you know, trying to figure, figure out what this young guy is doing coming in the store with a pipe, you know. But we actually, uh, as I got to speak with uh, Charlie, he and I share a lot of the same. Uh, uh, what's the word? We like a lot of the same tobaccos and uh, style of pipes. Actually, all the pipes he had on his wall. Were uh, pipes that he would selected uh, throughout the years at pipe shows and things. And. Of course, they were for sale and he was actually running a 25 percent off sale running until I'm not I'm not sure if it's the end of the month or next month. But a really good deal, and his prices were, he was spot on with, um, even some of the online, he was cheaper than some of the online uh, retailers, like Pipes and Cigars, um, Cup of Joe's. So I, I was actually very surprised, and especially with that discount. So, um, if if you can ever support your B&M &B uh, stores, brick and mortar, um, uh, it's always a wise thing to do because they may not be around forever. And, uh, the experience you get, you know, I got to speak with Charlie for a good hour and a half and we talked about everything from pipes to the news, you know, to just everyday things. And, uh, it was a really good chat. I really enjoyed it. You can't get that when you order a pipe online. Anyway, I'm smoking Navy Flake by McBaron and uh, boy oh boy Charlie had a tin of this behind his counter and opened it up for me and 
I got a whiff of it. <clears throat> it was a wonderful smelling out of the tin. I'll open it up so you guys can see. Of course. McBaron's famous. I always like their uh, the way they package it. It's just really neat. Wonderful aroma. And <clears throat> the uh, first initial whiff I got, I would say, kind of a grassy, hay, fruity. Possibly figs or apricots. And this is my second bowl. And when, when I first drew on my pipe, I got a, uh, a very strong um, aroma, flavor of apples, apple juice. But I don't get that when I smoke, smoke the pipe. But... Uh, it is a blend that I think you could probably smoke all day. Um, it has, <clears throat> I'll read the tin note for you guys. Carefully selected Burley, Virginia, and the original McBaring Cavendish have been pressed and stored for weeks before cutting into slices. The pressing process secures a slow and cool burning, which gives the ultimate smoking pleasure. And um, this tin is actually dated from July of 2015. I uh, not all tins will have the date on on them when they've been uh, packaged. I think McBaron dates all theirs, I believe. So far, I just picked up a tin of uh, Scottish mixture for a friend at uh, another. Uh, B&M in Indianapolis, the pipe puffer. I was there yesterday, and it was uh, October of 2012, actually. So that's already five years old, almost. The retro hail is stronger for me. Um, but still, a lot of... Uh, Maybe even kind of a floral essence. Not very prominent, but I do get a little bit of that. Very pleasant, though. And <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> for me, it, it, it was kind of a, a sad for me. When, when I was uh, speaking with uh, Charlie in the tinderbox, he was explaining how some of his business is going down and uh, due to online sales and whatnot. And he said, I think 85% of his sales are cigars. You know, a lot of his pipes had dust on them and things, so they had been sitting there possibly for a while. And... Uh, Excuse me, put my window down there. I'm smoking in my vehicle today because it's a little bit too windy outside and chilly. So I was smoking outside earlier and uh, I just didn't want to fight the wind and the chill. But the birds are out. I can hear them. They're, they're singing. So... It's turned out to be a beautiful day, minus the chill. I don't know, it's around 40 degrees, 36, something like that. But, <clears throat> anyway. I did, uh, out of all my pipes, I think I have around 13 now. I recently just purchased a pipe from Pipes and Cigars uh, because I couldn't find it in any of my local... Uh, brick and mortar stores 
and it's a uh, it's similar to my Rossi Napoli billiard. Uh, it's a Rossi Napoli Canadian, uh, 804, 806, something like that, 808. I really look forward to smoking that. Um, it has the exact same uh, stain and grain to my uh, billiard. Uh, so I plan on doing um, a couple reviews too in the future. Um, another flake I've been smoking is Aaron Moore Flake. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. It is an aromatic as well. And it's one I've learned, I've become very fond of. I'm almost through the tin. I have about a fourth of the tin left. And it is a, <clears throat> it's a little bit stronger. It's a Virginia. And it's a little bit stronger. It has a uh, kind of a citrusy type uh, note to it. But I really enjoy it. But, like I said with this, I get a lot of, um, I would say even maybe a little bit of a citrusy taste to it, maybe flake. Pleasant. If you like Virginia's, I would say this would be a go-to, um. And it does have burley in it as well. Uh, I would say keeping it lit. I have not had any problem of keeping it lit. Um, I lit it the first time, and I haven't. Uh, I, I, I my first bowl I had to do one relight, one or two. But this bowl has stayed lit for me, so. I guess that uh, my first time I was outside, so the wind kind of got to me, but all in all, a very good smoke. But I see a lot of uh, a lot of you guys doing your videos and things, fighting the cold. You're braver than I am sometimes. But keep at it. We're, warmer weather isn't in store for us so I can't wait I'm really looking forward to it and for all of you that do watch my videos and subscribe I can't tell you how much I uh, appreciate it and I enjoy uh, comments even, even if you just drop in to say hello or you know I like your pipe or great video I really appreciate that and thank you The other day, on International Pipe Smoking Day, February 20th, I was enjoying a pipe, and I wanted to do a video, but I didn't have enough time. And uh, it was cold, so I lit my pipe up in the back patio, and I was kind of puffing on it. And uh, I believe I was smoking Piper's Pleasure by J.M. Boswell, which is also a very nice aromatic blend. Um, kind of a chocolatey vanilla blend. And I was listening to Pandora music. And Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World, came on. I believe that's the name of it. A classic, famous song. Beautiful song. And, you know, I was smoking my pipe there, watching the, the birds and the wind the trees moving I just thought to myself boy you know what other hobby can you really sit back and enjoy and just ponder and think and uh, pipe smoking has brought me a lot of joy and it's taught me a lot of things so far um, I did just celebrate my one year of smoking a pipe uh, my, my uh, <clears throat> I believe it was January 26th something like that was my one year so 
I learn new things every day and I enjoy it so it keeps it keeps me on my toes I will say one thing pipe smoking has brought to me is patience um, patience and time to ponder and clear my head um, whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed or stressed I know if I light up my pipe and I just sit back it's kind of a uh, it's kind of surreal because it gives you time to think and enjoy yourself Well, guys, I thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you'd like. Until my next video, take care. Stay, uh, stay warm and enjoy your pipes. So, be safe out there, guys. Take care.